Hey guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video on my channel. So today, as I'm doing pretty much every week or trying to, I'm going to be taking you to how you can complete the whole of the autumn slash storm season for series 3 uh, where we've got some more new cars. Uh, so these new cars have 25 points, we've got the Donkervort GTO uh, which is returning from Horizon 4 as well as the Toyota AT37. Uh, its brother, the Toyota AT38, is next week in winter for 45 points. So I'm going to be showing you how to get enough points to unlock both of these cars, as well as the other rewards that we've got this season. Um, I think the best one, in my opinion, is the Aerial Atom, but it's only 200,000 in the Auto Show, so definitely the best rewards this season are the, se uh, the season rewards uh, for 25 and 45 points. So I'm going to be taking you through every challenge. I'm going to give you, be giving you some tips and tricks and some tunes to help you along the way. And I'll show you a bit of gameplay of some of the challenges uh, where you'll need it so that you can get through this season quickly and easily in just a couple of hours to get them rewards. And I've been disconnected due to an activity. So we're going to start with the three Forsathon uh, kind of option challenges to get your Forsathon points. Uh, so we'll start with them. Okay, so as always, the weekly Forzathon challenges will get you 80 Forzathon points, or will get you double Forzathon points, so 160 if you won the La Casa Salariguera House, or whatever it's called, the one that was with VIP anyway. Um, so these Forzathon points can be used in the Forzathon shop. Um, so this week we have the Koenigsegg CC GT, a very, very good car. If you've got 600 Forzathon points, and that is a definite um, buy, um, I do believe it's in the auto show, but I think it's a couple of million. In the auto show, it's going to be the same. Otherwise, you can win it in wheel spins. I got mine in a wheel spin, uh, so I haven't had to buy one. However, if you haven't got it, I'd highly recommend you buy that. And then for 400 Forzathon points, we've got the Ford Super Grand 3. Uh, really, really good car. Not sure whether it's worth 400 Forzathon points, but I've already got it, so I don't have to make that decision. And then we've got the Sraoni points you want to waste on them. So, the weekly Force Van Challenge is a bit of an interesting one. Um, chapter 1 and Chapter 4 are the worst, in my opinion, uh, and you'll see why in just a second. So, Chapter 1 is called Boys Own. So, for this one, you need to own and drive the 1930, not 1931, Bentley 4.5 litre, also known as the Bentley Blower. I don't really know why. That might be the American name, I don't know, but I've always known it as the 4.5 litre. Um, so, yeah, there's a couple of ways you can get this, um, so I'll show you them now. So it is 4 million credits in the auto show, which is a bit of a rip off even for me, because um, I've only got 9.5 million credits, so I'm lucky that I own this, because if I didn't I would have been almost bankrupt. Um, so that's one way you can get it. Or you can find them in the auction house uh, for around 4 to 4.5 million credits at the moment. However, there are some people that are selling them for 20 million credits. These are way more popular than they were yesterday, by the way. Um, so there are some people selling them for 20, cre 20 million credits. These are the legendary paintings, painters or tuners. Don't buy them. Just spend four million credits in the auto show if you're going to do it. Personally, if I have, if I didn't own the car, I probably just bog off this challenge. Five points isn't really much if you can complete all of the other stuff to get the rewards. Unless, of course, you're going for a hundred percent completion, but I really do not think it's worth it. Um, but if you want to spend four million, then feel free. It's cheaper in the auto show, so go there if you're going to spend any money on it. So if you aren't going to complete this challenge, um, which if you haven't got it I would recommend, uh, then you can just skip to the next part of the video, but if you are going to complete it, I have created a tune for you, an S1 tune, with 1200 horsepower, top speed of around 200 miles an hour, good acceleration, good weight and good grip. Uh, so it's called Costly Forzathon because it's the car's obviously 4 million credits and then the tune is about 110,000, which is nothing compared to the price of the car. Um, so the share code for this one is 172904989891, sorry, I'll leave that on the screen there. 
um, or you can type in my game tank shadow 2017 uh, so you can pop this tune on uh, or any other tune if you wanted to get it done a bit quickly and you can use this can tune for all of the four chapters so we'll move on to the second chapter now okay so for the next chapter once you've owned and drove your Bentley blower is to complete nine stars from speed zones so it can be any speed zone they can be different ones you can do the same one over and over again you just need to get nine stars with my s1 tune there should be absolutely no problem we're on full slick tires um, the grip isn't insane to the point where it's like the Koenigsegg CCGT but it's good enough to get round corners so you can pick any speed zone you want and if you get three stars every time you'll only need to do it three times um, one of the easiest ones in my opinion is the festival speed zone because if you come from this direction you come round and you can roll ride this corner here where the route is um, so that's an easy one for me uh, and you'll need 110 miles an hour for that one however uh, other easier ones I do believe that the La Silica speed zone is quite an easy one because if you come round here then you can accelerate all the way along this road and you'll need 125 miles an hour for that one um, pretty much just pick any speed zone you prefer uh, or you want to complete and you'll be absolutely fine you can even pick like this one here 135 miles an hour for three stars so pick any speed zone get nine stars and then you can move on to the next chapter okay so the next chapter sweet taste wants you to win three road racing events in the Bentley so for this one these can be sprint or circuit uh, they can be standard or they can be blueprint I've created a blueprint and just one lap for you and that you can use so I'll go and show you the share code for that one now otherwise you can just pick any road race off the map and win three of them it can be the same one if that is the case just make sure you go fully back out into free roam and without like without clicking restart and do it three times that way or you can just pick three different ones they can be circuits or sprint races so I'll head over to my blueprint now and I'll show you the code for that one okay so firstly uh, we have this one here uh, so this is the share code 407519223 um, so this one is a sprint uh, or you've got the Forzathon one lap easy uh, version here uh, and the share code for this one is 157233261 personally I'd go with this one uh, just to make sure that it actually works I'm not too sure if the other one actually works um, so just pick that one do it three times without clicking restart and then you can move on to the final chapter which is very exciting by the way okay so the final chapter is called secret agent uh, and for essentially for this one you need to drive 100 miles and yes you did hear me right drive 100 miles now we were hoping this was a typo given that they put 1931 in all the chapters and not 1930 but unfortunately 1931 was the only type or you do actually have to drive 100 miles if you work in kilometers that's 160 kilometers because 100 miles an hour is 160 kilometers an hour that's about the only conversion i actually know so yes um it's going to take you about three quarters of an hour to do this so 40 45 minutes depending on what tune you've got my uh, tune only has a top speed of 200 miles an hour if you've got a tune that goes faster you're going to get it done quicker if you've got a tune that goes slower you're going to get it done slower it all depends on the tune hence why I've created an S1 tune rather than say an A-class tune um, so I don't really know what to suggest for this one I'm probably not going to bother I might just chip away at it during the week um, but if I don't get it completed naturally I'm not going to bother because it's just an absolute pain in the backside uh, if you want to get it done the quickest way just go on down the highway I heard straight off the couch gaming went up down the highway 16 times um, and got it completed um, or you can for example do the Goliath a couple of times I think the Goliath is about 25 miles so if you do that four times then you'll have completed that that's if my things are right otherwise two or three times uh, just do whatever you want uh, I personally think this is a complete waste of time uh, and I'm sure you would agree uh, however we have been gifted a hundred fourth on points if you go in your message center and into gifts you'll have 100 Forzathon points personally I don't think that's enough because the Forzathon you can actually get 160 if you've got the VIP house so I personally think it should be at least a thousand 
um, for that compensation because it's just a complete waste of time. Firstly, they're making you buy a four million credit card and then they're making you drive it for an hour overall, which is just stupid. So, well done, Playground Games. You've completely disrespected your uh, players there. So, thank you for that. Anyway, that is the Forzathon, so now we can move on to the next bit. For any daily challenges, if you're having any troubles completing them, then just let me know in the comments. I'm not going to go through them because they're usually quite straightforward. You have seven days to complete them. They release every day at 2.30pm GMT. However, if you have any issues or if any of them are broken, then just let me know in the comments and I can help you out. Um, you can spend the Forzathon points you get from these in the Forzathon shop as well. Uh, and the other way you can get Forzathon points is by completing Horizon Arcade. So for this one you just got to filter to multiplayer events on your map uh, and you will see pink dots, uh, like there's usually two at a time, pink circles um, of Horizon Arcade events like Falls on Live in Horizon 4. You just got to go there, complete three rounds and you'll have it completed. Even if there's only you, don't worry you can get it completed. Um, I've done them by myself like three times uh, in the past week now and I've got them completed within five minutes. The restrictions have been lowered. So if you complete all three rounds you get 30 or 60 fourth thumb points and you'll also get three points to watch your playlist. Okay, so I'm now going to move on to the three stunts of this week and after we've done them I'll give tunes for all the championships, trial and games. So the uh, Stunts this week get you a wheel spin each plus two points each, so that's six points and three wheel spins in total. So the first one I'm going to be looking at is the Eagle's Perch Danger Sign, where you need a B-class Mitsubishi. So it's this one here. Um, so the run up, uh, you've got to start around here because the Mitsubishi tune, especially the one I'm using, hasn't got very good top speed and acceleration. You need to start from about here, and then you'll go and you'll run up. Uh, to the danger sign and you need 234 meters so I'll show you the current tune I'm going to be using now and then I'll show you me completing it okay so let's give this a crack then as you can see the acceleration is pretty lame stock Mitsubishi and Subaru engines can be quite slow in B-class Hence why I prefer using cars from lower classes in B-class. Um, I just picked this one because it's like it's one of the cheapest, so and we've got a lot of understeer. Obviously, this has got stock tyres on it. I couldn't, I didn't have the PI to put upgraded tyres on it, so yeah. There we go. Right, uh, try I'll go on this side of the truck so we don't hit it. Arrived right, 234 meters, please. And there we go, 258. I was hoping that it was going to be uh, decent enough, so we beat that one by 24 meters. So, um, yeah, with the run up I use, you'll easily be able to complete it, even if you're in automatic transmission. Um, so, there's that one. The tune for this one, by the way, is called Seasonal Jump. Um, it's got 300 horsepower, off-road tyres, so that was a bit of a light, actually on off-road race tyres. Um, and the share code for this one is 145189049. Um, so that's your share code for this tune. Not really very fast, as you saw, but decent enough to get it completed. We managed to smash it, so we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is the Swampland Speed Trap, where we need an A-Class Ferrari F40, uh, and it's just over here. As you can see, all of the stunts are in pretty much the same location. Um, so we need 148 miles an hour. Uh, this way, you'll have to start on the dirt to get a decent enough run-up. So I'm probably going to start around here, come round, just ease off around this corner, back on the throttle, maximise the handling. Uh, we are running stock tyres because we didn't have enough PI to get any tyres um, to accommodate the power uh, that we needed. So we are running stock tyres. We need to be a bit careful with this turn here. Um, but then we should get through the speed trap. Uh, I did test it and as I was going across I was about the correct speed. I rewinded just before I hit it so I think we'll be okay with this one. So I'll fast travel there now and then I'll show you my tune. 
Quick side note before I saw the, show you the tune, this car uh, is in the auto show, however it is 1.2 million, so a bit of a hefty one uh, to buy. When I checked in the auction last night, it was uh, about 1.3 million, um, but I don't know whether that's changed now, I'm not really too sure, so you might be able to get it a tad cheaper in the auction, uh, but if not, just buy it in the auction show for 1.2 million. Um, if you bought the premium edition, then you would have got the... Um, car voucher with the VIP if you haven't already spent that you could spend that to get it for free um, but if not you'll just have to buy it um, and what I might do is I might try and get a couple of them for cheap-ish um, and then I'll put a few in gift drop and you might be lucky enough to receive one from me um, so I'll try and do that at some point over the next couple of days so the tune for this one is called seasonal trap um, it's got the it's I can't remember what engine I think it was a 4.5 litre V8 that I put in it just to get a bit more horsepower so we're running 560 horsepower stock tyres rear wheel drive because all wheel drive um, it didn't put us into S1 but it mean, meant our speed was shocking um, so we do 210 miles an hour flat out which is pretty good um, so we just need the acceleration so the share code for this one is 2073168128 um, so we'll go and give it a crack now uh, and see what we can do. Do feel free to be kind and download my design as well. I imported it from Horizon 4 yesterday, same about the same time yesterday at the time recording. Um, and it's already got around 900 downloads so it must have somehow got caught the recommended algorithm. <laughs> So it's popping up in people's uh, suggested paint jobs when they're buying the car to do the uh, speed trap, which is very good actually, so I'm very happy. So if you want to download it as well, then feel free. In the meanwhile, we've got 151 miles an hour there, so we cleared it by 3 miles an hour. Um, not as easy, you do have to lift off uh, for them like two half speed corners um, as we're running uh, stock tyres, but easy enough. Um, so that's that one, we can move on to the last PR stunt. Okay, so the last one is the Water Splash Speed Zone, where we need a B-Class Classic Rally, uh, and it's just here, so we need 82 miles an hour overall. To start about here, take this run up, take the corner, um, and go around this final corner, and you'll have it completed. So I'll show you my car and tune for this one now. Okay, so I'll be using the 1965 Mini, Mini Cooper S, the Mr Bean one, and a big shout out to the guy whose livery I've got on it, which actually has Mr Bean on it, which is pretty cool. Um, if you search my game attack, by the way, ignore this C-Class one. For some reason I thought it was C-Class when I was making the tune. I'm just going to leave it up there in case I need it in the future. Um, so it's called Seasonal Zone, uh, and the share code for it is uh, 177-200-565. So let's go and give this one a crack. Okay, so into the zone we go. We've got two or three water splashes here, hence the name. Um, we can go pretty fast around here. This car is handling based, so it has off-road race tyres um, and not much power at all. We've only got about 160 horsepower from memory. So we've got, got to try and send this final corner. Uh, however, we've managed to get 90.37 miles an hour. That's a lot better than the test I did where I only had 83 miles an hour. So it's actually pretty easy. If you just send it in this car, you will easily get it done. So that is the three stunts. So now we move on to the tunes for the championships. Okay, so for the trial, Baja California, where you win 10 points and a super wheel spin. This is the easiest way to get as many points as possible, in my opinion. Um, so if remember for this one, you'll be racing in a team, a co-op team, either with randoms or with convoy. Racing against unbeatable AI, you've just got to beat them um, overall. So for this one, you need an A-class unlimited off-road. I'm going to be using the same car that you have to use for the Welcome to the Jungle, which is the Jeep Trail Cat. However, from last week, you could also use the number 25 for Bronco that we had to use for the Trailblazer. So I'll show you the tune for the Trail Cat now. So both of these tunes that I've got are exactly the same upgrade and tuning wise, just two different names. One of them's Trailblazer, one of them's Games. Obviously none of them are applicable to this season, but it doesn't really matter. So the share code for this one is double one two zero nine four six five seven, or you can just type in my gamer tag and find either of them. 
Okay, so for the seasonal playground games Temple Runner, we need a B-Class Retro Rally, and for this one we'll win the 1999 Lancer GSR plus three points. Remember for the games you do not actually have to win. If your team is losing, doesn't matter, don't quit, you'll just win for completing it. Okay, so for this one I'm going to be using the 1992 Toyota Celica GT4 RC ST185. Reason being the 94 Celica apparently isn't in the auto show, this one is, so I chose to use this one. My tune has a turbo rally in it, engine in it, uh, off road race tyres, all wheel drive, etc. etc. And the share code for it is 921935227. Okay, so for the calm before the storm championship, we need an S2 Extreme Track Toy, and we win five points and an aerial atom. Now, do note that the aerial atom is actually the cheapest car that you could take for this at only two hundred thousand credits in the auto show. Uh, the other ones range from about five hundred thousand to a couple of million. So, if you do actually just want to buy this car, if you don't have any other Extreme Track Toy. Uh, and then you can just give away your duplicate either on the auction or in gift drop. Uh, either way, I've got a different car and a different tune for you to use if you want to be uh, not have a duplicate. Okay, so the car I picked out was the Ultimate Evolution Coupe uh, 1020 Coupe. Sorry, I had it when people say coupe. Um, uh, this is actually one of the other cheapest ones in the auction, only a couple of hundred thousand uh, credits. Uh, so if you needed to buy one, this is one of your go-tos. I've created two tunes, both of the top of S2 class. One is all-wheel drive with slick tyres, um, 1,100 horsepower and really good top speed. However, one is rear-wheel drive with 1,300 horsepower, weighs less than one tonne also with slick tyres. So if you're wanting to challenge yourself, then use the rear-wheel drive one, which once you get launched, it is really, really good. Uh, if you want to be play a bit safer, uh, then use the all-wheel drive one. So the share code for the all-wheel drive is 1470730333, and the code for the rear-wheel drive one is 1835961113. Now finally for the uh, championships we have underground overground where you need a B-class hot hatch and you'll win a 2011 VW Scirocco. Okay so this is the same car and tune that I used last week for the Mini Adventure Championship. It's the 2012 Mini Cooper Works GP. It's called Seasonal Dirt uh, and the share code for it is 1189149844. So that is it for the championships. Okay, so now for this week's treasure hunt, which is called Lucky Skills, and the treasure clue for this week is cause a wreck in this Nissan GTR from 2017, matching the generation number for tries. And once you've done this, it'll earn you 50,000 credits and three points. So the 50,000 that are in the treasure chests. So what this means is you need to get uh, some wreckage skills in the Nissan GTR, um, matching the generation number. So the this Nissan GTR is the sixth generation, which means we get to need to get six wreckage skills. Now, from what I've seen watching other people's videos, it's six ultimate wreckage skills, but I might be wrong. If you just get six normal wreckage skills and it pops up, then let me know in the comments. But as far as I know, you need to get six ultimate wreckage skills. So, the perfect location for this is the uh, roundabout at the bottom of the highway. Uh, go and smash all the palm trees, fences and etc here. Uh, smash all of them until it pops up and then I'll show you where the uh, chest location is. Okay, so once you've got your six ultimate wreckage skills, uh, took me about two minutes, you'll found you'll get the treasure clue. Uh, sorry, what the hell am I on about? I'm on. You get the uh, location for the treasure chest. It's a circle that pops up on your map, uh, uh, like a pinky orangey circle that pops up here. Then you'll be able to find the treasure chest. This is what it looks like. So if I smash it. 50,000 credits. It's just off this road here. So once the animation finishes, I'll show you exactly where it is. So it's here, literally just off the road. You can actually see it from the road. So that's how I found it. That's how easy it is. Just go and smash that and you'll have completed the treasure hunt. 
Okay, so now for the photo challenge, which is hashtag perfect, spelt with a U, not an E. You need to photograph the Ford Racing Puma in La Selva, and for this you'll get the I'm in the zone, for the link rewards, and two points. Uh, so the Ford Racing Puma I believe to be in the auto show, and I'll show you the location of La Selva now. So when you're in your Ford Racing Puma, filter to landmarks on the map, and you'll see just where my cursor is, it says La Selva. Fast travel to this location here, or drive if you don't have fast travel, uh, and then just take a photo with like the foresty area behind and you'll have it completed. So just on the road here, parked here, we've got the Ford Racing Puma in it, and we've got La Selva, simple as that. There's not really anything you need to get in apart from the trees, it's this kind of location on the map really, um, so that is the photo challenge. Okay, so the final couple of things now, the Horizon Open Challenge clean up nicely uh, where you will win white skinny jeans if for whatever reason you want them and two points. You need to earn three clean racing skills in Horizon Open Racing. So just simply go in your pause menu, go in online, open and then click open racing. Find any of the, just let it enter you into any of the categories. Uh, like car restrictions and then you just need to race clean so don't hit an anybody don't hit any walls or anything uh, and then clean racing skills will prop up pop up pretty fast the eliminator challenge has been the same pretty much since the start of the game finish 30 or better just need to have less than 30 drivers left in your top left corner when playing the eliminator don't quit after this, make sure you get eliminated like by somebody else rather than quitting. And this will win you a gong, uh, car horn and two points. And then the monthly rivals, if you completed this last week, you will have it completed for all the other weeks as well, otherwise you can do it now. Uh, just enter the monthly rivals via the rivals tab in the online section. You'll be putting the Ferrari 488 GTB, you just need to drive around the plaza circuit without rewinding, hitting anything. Um, or missing any checkpoints doing so will get you a clean lap you do not have to beat your rival and that is that completed and that pretty much wraps up today's video so thank you so much for watching um, I'm not really sure whether this is shorter than last week's I've tried to do it a bit shorter and explain a bit better um, again if there's any other ways you want me to do these videos if you want me to split them up or something let me know in the comments um, but thank you so much for watching if you enjoy and would like to see these content um, videos in the future then please subscribe to the channel. I'll try and get some gameplay of these new cars out during this week as well. And without any further ado, I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.